Well, when human remains are found, an intense investigation kicks in. But those investigations don't always happen like you see on TV. WCBI Story Tally joins us in the studio with more on what goes on at the crime scene. Jory? Andre and Joey, when law enforcement arrives on scene, the main concern is to seal off the area where the remains were found. You have to see what you're working with just in case there's on the side. You have to have law enforcement do their job and investigate as well. We all have to work together on that between the coroners and law enforcement. Mainly the coroners just kind of lay low a little bit until the law enforcement finished theirs. Then the coroner will take jurisdiction of the remains. Knox City County Coroner R.L. Calhoun has seen scores of death scenes, but some key things need to be done before the first investigator ever arrives. For example, if you ever discover human remains like the hunters in Chickasaw County did, this is what you should do. What you're supposed to do is, you know, don't try not to mess with anything. Uh, I know human nature is to go in and get a closer look, but uh, you need to back out of the area and uh, call 911 and let let the proper authorities get there and so they can start the investigation. Preserving and not contaminating the scene or body are crucial. That's why we called the crime lab in. I mean, they come in, uh, they wear suits that where there's no contamination can, can come off of them. They handle the crime scene. Uh, they, they package all the evidence that they assume might be evidence and same thing with the body. It can take hours before a body can be removed from where it's discovered and its state depends on how officials will identify it. That's the very complicated part. That's why we use those measures of collecting DNA and from siblings and other forensic studies to try to do everything we could possible to identify the subject. One of those measures were taken to identify the decomposed body found in Chickasaw County Woods. In a case of this nature where we have found some remains, uh, we took DNA samples from next of kin uh, and it went to the crime lab uh, with the remains and uh, so hopefully we can get a positive identification if it does turn out to be our, our missing person. There are also other options to give those human remains a name. You can use medical records as well. It would help the great light on one case I had. You know, a gentleman, subject had a surgery and after the remains we, you know, collected, you know, got to the pathology and sent the medical records, kind of identified with the surgery he had. That's how we made a positive identification towards him. All human remains found in Mississippi are taken to the Mississippi Forensic Testing in Pearl. Andrea? All right, Jory, thanks.